Today, I'm gonna to show you how to set up currencies in your rooms, and then we'll give you an example of how to implement that currency. But first, let's ask, what is currency? And for that, we're gonna get some help from somebody who taught me, Swift Duck. Hello. Currencies are just like tokens, except they can be bought, owned, and spent in one specific room or in subrooms of that room. Players can either earn currency by completing in-game actions, or if you have a can plus, you can charge tokens for your currency. Let's start by setting up your currency. Take it away, Osio. So to create your first currency, you're going to open up your watch, hit this room, then hit settings. Then at the top here, you're gonna see currencies. Now this will show you a list of all currencies that you have in your room. As you can see, we have none. So we are going to hit add currency. All right, so this works pretty much the same way as consumables. You have your currency name up here. It has to be at least three characters. So we're gonna call these Eddie's. And then you have a currency description. It has to be at least 10 characters long. And then you can add an image to your currency. I don't really have any from this room, so I'm just going to leave that blank. Now, if we scroll down here, you have to set a daily limit to how much people can earn in your room. You can be anywhere between one and one billion. That's right, with a B, one billion. I'm going to go with just 50. And as I said earlier, if you have Rec Room Plus, you can set up packages to charge tokens for your currency. For this example, we'll just do one. You can do up to four. So we'll add a package here, and let's see, package one, you how many currency do you want them to get so I'll say you can get a hundred currency for how many tokens for one token <laughs> all right once you are happy with everything you've got there for your currency go ahead and hit save and there you have your currency so I didn't realize this until I came over here but you have to charge at least 10 tokens for any package 10 tokens is the lowest that you can charge stop before you continue, make sure oh, you want a currency, because once you make a currency, you cannot delete it. Now, if you are charging tokens for your currency, that is you have packages set up, you're gonna wanna set up a currency store button or a storefront to sell your packages. All right, so now it's time to deal with the circuits you need for currency. Actually, let's move a little bit closer. All right, so there's actually two chips that deal with currency. We have the add currency and the get currency balance. First, let's go through something real easy. So we're just gonna have players earn currency by hitting the button. It's not practical, but it'll at least give you some, some practice. So we're gonna get ourselves a button. So whenever the button is pressed, the orange executable needs to be hooked up to the run, which means we're gonna add currency. The player who hit the button, we need them to gain the currency. So we hook that up to player. And then the amount we want them to earn, let's just give them 10. Last thing you gotta do before you can use this add currency is hit configure on the chip, go to chip settings and select the currency you want it to add to. So for us, that's gonna be Eddie's. And now if I wire over the total balance here, you'll see zero and when I click the button, it'll go up to 10. So now I have 10 Eddie's. And just for an example, with the get currency balance chip, we are going to use a text tool and a two string. So let's clone this button over here. We're gonna wire the pressed to the run on the get currency. We're gonna wire the player to the player. We're gonna wire the total balance to the two string to turn it into a string and then wire that to the text on the text tool. Just to be safe, let's do the on get balance complete and wire that up to the set text. And then lastly, just like the add currency before, we need to configure the get currency balance and set it to eddies. So now when we hit this button, it'll display the current balance of whoever has hit the button. So originally in this tutorial, I was gonna show you how to make it when you kill an enemy or an AI that it gets you tokens, but the spawner component is completely broken right now. So I can't do that. But one of the more common ways that people do add currencies in rooms is by spending time in their room. So I'll show you how to set up a system where every minute a person spends in that room, they'll gain some currency. First thing we're gonna need is an event receiver. We want to configure that event receiver to be 30 Hertz. Then we're gonna need a float variable and we wanna go ahead and configure that variable to be a cloud variable. This is gonna make sure that it's saved for that particular person every time that they enter and leave the room. Then we're gonna get an add chip. Now at the end, we're gonna hook up this orange executable to the float variable, but right now, so it doesn't just start adding up automatically, we're just gonna leave that blank. So what you wanna do is hook up the output from the float variable to the first input on the add, then the output from the add to the input on the float variable. Then you wanna hook up the bottom add value to the delta time. 
So this is kind of hard to explain, but I'll try my best. The 30 hertz receiver sends out 30 signals per second. This delta time is 0 0.033334. So this is going to add 0.3333334 30 times per second. And if I pull out the calculator and we do some math here, 30 times 0.3334 is a little bit over one. So essentially every one second, this number here is going to equal one. Essentially going up by one every second. Now we need an if chip and a greater than chip. Can't see my chips, bro. Go ahead and hook up the execution from the float variable to the if chip. We're gonna hook up the bool variable from the if chip to the bool variable on the greater than. So we're gonna hook up the float variable to the A, and then this number here is gonna be how many seconds do we want to add currency? So for us, I said one minute, one minute is six seconds. So I'm gonna change this to 60. So that means every 60 seconds, this will be true. And when it is true, then we add currency. I'm also going to clone this float variable here, bring it over to that side, and then wire the then to the new float variable. We want it, we want to leave that as zero because once it becomes 60, we then want it to reset back to zero, starting the minute over again. So we're gonna get our add currency. We also want to use a get local player. Go ahead and wire the execution from the variable reset to the add currency and then the local player to the player. Now, how much currency do we want them to get whenever the minute is up? We'll just do 10 for this example. And then just like last time, remember that you have to configure the add currency and set it to the currency you want to add. We'll also add in a, a display to show how much currency just to get you more practice. So it'll be the same thing as last time. We want a two string and we want a text tool. So once we add the currency, then we want to set the text tool and we want that text to show this string and this string will come from the total balance. So now I will hook up this last executable here and we'll wait a minute and after a minute it will add 10 currency to me. I currently have 10 currency so it should be 20 on the uh, on the display over there. All right, let's get her started. If I mouse over this, you can see it's slowly adding up here about one every second. Two, one. Hey, all right, I got, I got, I got currency, woo. Another big shout out to Master Swift for helping me with this video. If you'd like to learn about consumables, check this video out here. Or if you'd like to learn about keys, check this video out here. Use code RCL1. Hey, number centers, thanks for staying around so long. Drop a pizza margin down in the comments so we know you were here. Have a nice day.